hello guys so today we are going to look at how we can edit uh, videos using uh, Framora so its interface looks like this after opening it it will be looking like this so let's begin with importing uh, videos so with importing videos click on this drop down and click on import media files and you go to where you saved your videos after clicking there click open and select the videos you want to edit if you have the images you can import them as well as well as audio and then click ok so our different media formats are already here we have videos and this is an image and this is audio so that is how you can import media into Framora so we have also the recording option you can record your PC screen if you want in that way in that way and then you can record from webcam if you want to record yourself rec if you want to record yourself you can use a webcam and you click start so with that you'll be recording yourself if you want to record yourself explaining anything to your learners you can use the webcam and then after recording you can click ok so your video will be stored right here then still in the web in the record you they will have the record voiceover option you can record your sound for example i can say that you can record your sound your sound explaining anything to your learners you start you click on the red button and it will start recording uh, you can explain anything to your learners explain and then after recording you can click ok so your sound will be right here so those are the different options we can use to get media into Framora then after that let's see how we can edit so our clips are right here we can bring them into the timeline so it will ask you for the resolution you can choose 1920 to 830 to 1080 and then we bring this one as well so if your voiceover is needed you can leave it here but if you don't need it you can delete it from there so that's it then we have the titles let's begin with titles here so when you click on titles we have openers, we have titles, lower thirds, subtitles, end credits, and new conclusions. So let's begin with the openers. With the openers, we have different options here. You can choose any opener you want and use it into your video. For example, uh, let me choose this one for my case so my opener will come right here so this is it so it comes with its own words 
so let's edit them and put in the words we want there so for example i want to say dicto dicto training dicto training for teachers as my opener I will reduce it and then click OK so if you want to edit more have different text styles you can use any any style you want if you want this you can apply it to your what then you have animations if you want to use any animation into your opener you can click on any animation to be applied on your opener for example we have the web style you can click on it so that your, your words appears like that so after you click OK so you can play and see if your words appears in the way you want them to appear so let's extend these videos here So this is our opener. It looks larger. We can reduce it up to there. We have reduced a lot. We can increase on it. In that way so those are the openers then have titles after openers you can put titles on your text yeah you can put titles on your video for example I want that type of title I will just come here So I want to use this title after opener. So I can say here that dicto and call it dicto audio production I will reduce on this text so that they fit into my frame then here I put digital audio production by init Okay, I need Karen, and then we have the uh, different text styles you can apply any. For example, this one. Or this. If it doesn't look good, you look for the text the style which looks good then that let's give it a uniform text style and then click 
if you want to give it animation as well you can choose any animation for example up insert if you want any if you want and then click ok then you can play on it and see how it appears so those are the what? those are the openers and titles then we have lower thirds the lower thirds which appears into the video you can choose any lower third for example this one and you bring it where you want it to be for example if i want it to be in this part of the video i'll just click i'll click on it and say and edit it in it explaining in it and say in it during dicto audio production session so I'll increase on the text here So this is my lower third. So I'll make sure that the words fits in into the frame and then if the color is not so you can choose any font type like this any other font type and then increase or reduce on the font size So we can also change the color. We come here on the font and click on the text color so it doesn't look good. You can choose any other color. So if, if it doesn't look good as well, we can go on to highlight and change the color blue so we can move it and put it right there and then move and then move its frame to there so that is our lower third so that is our lower third you can click ok if you are done with it then you have subtitles if you want to explain anything into the video you can use the subtitles 
and use the subtitles so this is the second clip then you have end credits if you uh, this goes at the end of the clip for example here and the credits you can choose any you want for example if I want this one I will bring it here and edit it I can say that facilitated Say that facilitated, facilitated by ultimate, ultimate media consult. Okay. Increase on the font, change the font type, for example, to Roboto Right. Increase on the font size to there. Redu I can reduce it to here to this, then I can board it, then I can change the font color as well to any color you want then we can go on to give to give it some an animation for example this one and play and preview it so it will be appearing like that then after you click okay so those are the end credits then you have uh, the transitions so these transitions helps in combining two clips for example we have the openers we have the title so those are different clips we can use transitions for example dissolve you can put it in between open and the title and then we put this one in between the title and in this clip so you can play to see so those are the transitions then you have the effects have different effects you can apply any effect into your video for example if i want okay. and then you have so i have changed the video appearance i can also apply this effect okay. here and then you have so that's how it looks like i can also use this And make it look like that so you can choose any effect you want then you have the split screen so the split screen uh, you can split your screen into two three for example if I want to split it into two I just click here and go back to my media Come on, the split screen. And
so if I want it if I want this one I'll bring it here and start editing it so I can choose for example this image and put it here then I get another image go back to import files for example this one and put it this side so my screen will be will split into two and I put different images there so I can play around and see how it looks like so that is the split screen option I can fit it in between here in between the two clips here and then click ok then I'll get uh, the transitions I put it in between here and here so that is the split screen but it has blocked our audio so we can remove it and put it up them up there. and get this to here and then play again So that's how it works. That's how it works. Then let's see how we can, for example, how we can edit any clip. For example, if I don't want uh, this clip from here up to like here, and I want to reduce and I want to remove it, I'll come here on the split. I split it and then go to where and another point and then also split so this clip will be split I'll, after splitting it I'll click delete so that part will be removed from my clip I can put the transition where I split from so that's it after that you can go on to play but remember where we have openers and titles there is no audio there so we can come here and get our audio and put it right there and then you can play around record here so but remember it was my recording your sound will be recorded into okay. so that is my narration so you can use any other narration you can get another audio if that is not working we can import another audio file can get another audio file and use it here 
so we shall bring it that it's too long we can highlight it and reduce it reduce this part and remain with this one and then close. but it's so loud we can reduce on its volume So that's how it works. Then after that, we put our end credits, and we can also get the audio and put it at the end. swims too long also we can go on to reduce it so this is our audio at the end I reduce the volume and go on to play into it and here that's how it works so after editing your clips adding transitions effects we have also the elements you can add in the elements into your clips we have different elements for example airplane we have different elements you can add in any element if you feel like adding an element any element from the elements here but as for now, I don't want to add any element into the clip. So after editing your video, you can click on export. So with exporting, it will bring you different formats. How but MP4 is the best one but you can make it as a GIF as an MKV you can choose any but MP4 is better so after that you click you give it the title for example dicto audio production session and export So it will start exporting. So that's how we can edit videos using a tool called Framera. It's a desktop tool and it is easy to use.